What is now? How long does it last? These are questions that have puzzled philosophers, scientists and thinkers throughout history. The elusive now is always fleeting, slipping into the past. But how do we quantify it? How do we measure the duration of the present moment? Welcome to our Deep into the Mysteries of Time. In this video, we will explore the concept of Planck time, the smallest measure of time that has any meaning, and how it ticks in Planck time units, giving us a sense of forward progression. Planck time is defined as the time it would take light to traverse a Planck length, a distance that is trillions upon trillions of times smaller than an atom. It is this minuscule measurement that shapes our perception of the present moment. We'll delve into the world of quantum physics, where the rules of time and space are not as straightforward as they seem, and where the idea of now takes on a whole new dimension. So buckle up as we embark on this journey to unravel the enigma of now. Have you ever wondered, what exactly is time? Is it just a ticking clock, or is it something deeper, embedded in the fabric of our universe? Enter the world of quantum physics, a realm where the ordinary rules of time and space get a little quirky. Here, we encounter a concept known as Planck time. Named after the physicist Max Planck, it is the smallest measure of time that has any meaning, and it is incredibly fleeting. How fleeting, you ask? Well, imagine a second. Now divide that second into 10 billion 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 parts. That's one Planck time. In essence, Planck time is the quantum of time, the smallest possible division beyond which the idea of time ceases to exist. It is to time what a pixel is to a picture, the smallest possible component that still makes sense. But what does this mean for us, living in the present? Well, it means that the present, the now, is incredibly small. In fact, it's as small as a Planck time. Anything more than a Planck time in the past is history, and anything more than a Planck time in the future is yet to come. We exist in this incredibly small sliver of now which is constantly moving forward. In other words, from a physical point of view, we only live in the present time which is as small as a Planck time. It's a mind-bending concept, isn't it? The past is gone, the future is yet to come, and the present is as fleeting as the blink of an eye, or rather, the tick of a Planck time. So, to summarize, Planck time is the smallest meaningful measure of time, and it's how we define the present. The past is any time more than a Planck time ago, and the future is any time more than a Planck time from now. We exist in this tiny, fleeting moment of now, constantly moving forward through time. So next time you find yourself worrying about the past or anxious about the future, remember that the only moment that truly exists, the only moment you can live in, is right now. This incredibly small, fleeting Planck time. The past is gone, the future is yet to come, and the present is all there is. Now, isn't that a fascinating thought? How long do you actually exist? How long is now? Have you ever stopped to ponder how long is the present time, the span in which we are living in the present? Astonishingly, the present time is incredibly minuscule, as minute as a Planck time. That equates to precisely 5.39 times 10 to the negative 44 seconds. It's a moment so infinitesimal, a now that we inhabit, a sliver of time that is ceaselessly advancing forward. Thus, the time where we truly exist in the present is as small as a Planck time, a fleeting instance that appears and then vanishes, thrusting us into the forthcoming moment of now. Having established the incredibly small duration of the present moment, we perceive time's flow through our brain's mysterious process. The true nature of time, as we've discussed, is far more complex and fascinating. Having delved deep into the mysteries of time, we now invite you to join us in further exploration. If this journey has sparked your curiosity, and you've enjoyed our voyage from the quantum world up to our perception of now, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button. It's a small action but it helps us a lot. And if you want to continue discovering the fascinating intricacies of our universe, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have lots more content like this coming up. Thank you for your time, and remember, while time is a complex concept, the most important time is always the present. So live in the now.